I'm going to show you how to use an especially useful website for math. It is called the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. Some of these applications are especially useful since the denominator can be immediately manipulated when students are watching it on the screen. To get there, you need to go to the website http colon front slash front slash nlvm dot usu dot edu. Then you choose grades 6 through 8. Scroll down the list until you get to the Fractions Comparing category. Here it is. Click on it. The first problem says find different names for two fractions using the same number of division pieces. Here we have two elevenths and one half. I will change the division pieces until they all become yellow. Here we have 22 pieces. There are 4 out of 22. Fill it in. Here we will change the halves until 22. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 pieces. 11 out of 22. Click check. Now you'll click on the number line to show where 2 elevenths is. Happens to be 4 out of 22. You see this number line is divided in 22 equal pieces. Here is 4 out of 22. Here is the 11 out of 22. That's where the half is located. Now change the number of line number line divisions to find a fraction between 2 elevenths and 1 half. We see that it's already divided into 22 equal pieces. We can pick any one of these, 5, 6, 7, all the way up to 10 out of 22. I'll choose 9 out of 22. Click check. It says it's correct. It says find another fraction. This time I'll pick 7 out of 22. And click check. It is also correct. Now I go down onto the bottom, click new fractions, and try the next problem. Notice this one happens to be fraction circles. This time it is divided into fifths and fourths. I will continue to divide it into equal pieces. This goes up to tenths. When I get to tenths here, it is not all yellow. Keep going. Sixteenths turns yellow. Here, sixteenths is not all yellow, so I keep going. I'm going to try twentieths. Now I go back and count the sections. Four out of twenty. This time I count the sections. I have five out of twenty. Click check. Again, I have my number line. I will place where my one-fifth is located, which is 4 out of 20. Count to the fourth spot. Next one, I have 5 out of 20. Now I need to find a spot in between. I will um, change the number line divisions. I'm going to go up to 25. Uh, as I see, 5 out of 25 is here. 6 out of 25 is here. It is in between. 6 out of 25, and click check. It is correct. You may continue on. At this point, you can also go back and try some of the other fraction tools. If you go down through the list, you will see there are fraction pieces, fraction adding, fraction comparing, equivalent fractions, and fractions rectangle multiplication. Have fun trying all these applications.